I'm Kevin Klein. Now we've talked about the fact that we're going to share some uh, of the Standing Policy Committee appearance on our YouTube page so that you get to see inside without doing it as a 25 minute television reality show. Uh, so in this, uh, in this particular episode, we are going to feature questions that uh, we received from Councillor Rowlands. Um, the first set of questions is with respect to the uh, fire paramedic situation that I raised. For uh, a reminder, I mentioned that the fire paramedic budget is over $200 million and I find that it's odd that it's explained in less than 10 pages. I felt we should have more information. I felt that we should have some detail, especially on the fact that we'll be paying for uh, membership now into the Manitoba Paramedics Association and we'll be paying for personal insurance. Items that normally under professional standards are covered by uh, individuals because they're a tax write-off, because they're a requirement of your job. Now we're paying it for the firefighters, we're not paying it for the paramedics. Not blaming the firefighters, don't say that, not blaming the paramedics. Just I don't know why. I don't know how much it is. I don't know if it's annual. Is it a one-time fee? It doesn't say any of that in the budget. Take a look at the questions that I got. With respect to uh, the Winnipeg Fire Paramedic Service, uh, I uh, and 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 the particular timing of the College of Paramedics of Manitoba, that on December first we would enact the College of Paramedics. Uh, of Manitoba on December 1st, um, you know, yesterday uh, is a subject that is of great concern to me, uh, in particular uh, in the lead up to uh, when our Winnipeg Fire Paramedic Service uh, was and continues to be the front line of every single fight uh, of this pandemic. So our paramedic staff, uh, have the ability to discontinue the paramedic practice and unfortunately are electing to do so in the face of the college, the college requirement. Why? Because they're being put upon. That uncertainty surrounding the governance of the paramedic profession, the implementation of the college and, and what that has aroused in a completely unnecessary distraction during the pandemic is really the fodder of Cameron Friesen, the Minister of Health. So I, 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 I really think a delay in implementation should have been thought about over at the legislature that the college regulations until some time in the new year, maybe when the pandemic has just subsided like this council has done each and every time, just moved stuff that is not a priority and plan during a global pandemic to the side, still really important things maybe, but I don't know if that's an error in this budget, so much as it is the purview of shared health. Well, if I may, um, I'm not gonna point fingers. I think that the discussion of the College of uh, Paramedics for Manitoba has been ongoing for over a year. Um, that we have a College of Paramedics for Canada. There's a College of Paramedics uh, throughout the globe. In fact, I've talked to members pandemic. of many of them. It's not the so the fact that you're that we're insinuating, and I, I don't want to put words in your mouth, and it, I, it's not part of my concern. The fact is that over, for over a year, there's been discussions that the College of Paramedics uh, for Manitoba will be happening. You you said errors happen. With That's it. The error is and then that it's not included in the budget. Medic. So, Madam Chair, with Shared all due with all due health. respect, Shared my comment health. is directed towards our budget, not towards the provincial obligations or duties. My Mine is geared towards the fact that we have it in the but, but it's not identified in our budget. I'm not here to argue against the provincial or federal governments. I did that for several years in the media. It never got me anywhere. So I, I believe that here today, my responsibility is to highlight issues within a budget. And when we're spending over $200 billion on any department, I think it's an it's an issue when we're not including details. I'm sorry. Trust left City Hall a long time ago, and I would like to see the accounting. I believe that we are supposed to hold the public service accountable for your money. That's all I'm trying to do. I don't understand why people get so offended 
by asking for just a little bit of information. I'm not asking for line items on how much do we spend on hoses and how much do we spend on this and that and getting into the minute details. I'm not stupid. I'm just asking for details on certain things. I just want to know. I think you want to know. If I'm wrong, tell me. You can leave a message or your comments online or you can email me, kevin at kevinkline.ca.